I think it's going good, you know. Got good competition out there on the field on both sides of the ball. And I'm real pleased with how the receivers are working real hard right now. Well, what does it mean to have the, the leaders that you do in the receiver core led by, by Rashad? Oh, it's, it, it makes my job easy to having the leaders that we have in our, in our group. They understand what, what I want and they can relate that to the young guys and show them not only by talking to them, but they can show them by example by actually doing it. So it's definitely been a, a blessing for me to have them, them uh, seniors that are leading these guys this year. What makes Rashad so good? Consistency. You know, showing up in the big games, you know, playing, making plays. And that's the thing. Not only is he a good kid off the field, he's a good kid on the field. When did you realize that you had, had a, a special guy? Um, in camp his freshman year, I realized that um, this kid was going to have a chance to, to be a good football player. I didn't know he was gonna, how good he was going to be, but I knew he had a chance to be real special and he continued to work hard each and every day in practice. I was since the freshman and every day he come to work and, and that's what shows up. How do you think you've developed and matured as a coach? Um, I, I know what I'm looking for more and I understand uh, Jimbo offense is a lot better. As I've been here over the going into my eighth year with him, and 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 it, and it helps me to be able to relate it to the kids a lot better because I understand what they're looking for. What does it mean for you to be able to, to coach at your own mother? Well, it's a blessing, you know. Um, Any time that um, you get a chance to go t back to your mother and not only coach but actually help them win a championship, man, it's it's, it's a dream, you know. And I, I can't I can't say enough about how thankful I am to yeah. be. In the situation that I am, I am in right now. I mean, Coach Fisher's talked a lot about how it's important for the players to continue to, to stay hungry. Is it same for the for the coaching staff? Do you no have to doubt. do anything mentally to make no, sure? No, no, no doubt. You know, each each year being a former player, you understand the competitive thing. Last year is over with, and, and we're only concerned about what's what's the next game. You're only good as your last game. You know, so if we would have lost that last game, wouldn't have been a whole lot of hoopla I've been going on right now. And the same thing, every game is, has its own season. So we just take me being in my mindset and what I tell my guys, hey, we just take one at a time. Yeah, regardless of the highs and the lows that your quarterback has gone through, to a man, everyone says he hasn't changed. What does that mean for a team and one of your top leaders, regardless of the highs or the lows, can, can stay consistent like that? That's, you said it, it's consistency. And that's what it means for the team. They've seen what, everything that he can go through and he can give all he got. I have no excuse for myself not to actually go out and give all I got to help him be successful. So I just give him a little joy when he was going through all this situation. You kind of talk about the success of the offense, but how much is that predicated on that experienced offensive line that you guys have? And what does it mean to have a group with so much experience? Oh, it means a whole lot, you know, and it also takes pressure off everybody, you know, because everything started in the trenches. And I think, you know, we got the best offensive line in the country. And I'm expecting them to continue to, to go out and produce rushing yards as well as passing yards for us. So if they don't go, we don't go as an offense. And uh, we, we're so fortunate to have the guys that we have up there to getting it done. And I think all, all of them are doing a great job. You see it from a player's and a coach's pers perspective, the, the, the fan day, signing the autographs, having the open practice. What does that mean to, to you guys to have that kind of access with the fans on this day? I think it, I think the kids really enjoy it. You know, I think they really enjoy it. They get a chance to interact with the, with the fans that you don't get that often to do because of the the time constraints on everything. But by having fan day, I think it's a a great great thing to do. And I think I know the players enjoy doing it, and, and the coaches enjoy doing it, spending time with the fans. All right, thank you. And then uh, just finally, we ask all the other players, what are your thoughts on the new uniforms? <laughs> um, I like them. You know, you know, I, I like all. I like the old and I like the new. So. And the players like it, and they uh, they can't wait to actually get in, the, get actually get out there and start playing with them. And the new helmets, you know, the fashion designs, I, I like them a lot. Thanks, coach. I appreciate it.